What's up you guys? It's your girl, it's Coco Sims, and I am so excited to be bringing you guys a brand new Let's Play. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on my video. If you're not new here, welcome back. I'm so happy that you came back. If you are coming back and you're a returning viewer, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I know y'all be watching my videos and not subscribing. So save yourself the trouble of finding new videos and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you'd like. But anyway, let's jump straight in. If you guys watch my Let's Play, my P-Valley Let's Play, you guys are probably like, who are these Sims that look so in love in this picture? This is a new family that I'm going to be playing with. I'm starting a brand new Let's Play. It's in the same world, but we're gonna have a lot of new characters. I really have fun playing with my P-Valley characters, but lately, I don't know, I've just been really into playing with families lately. And this family is honestly so much fun to play with, you guys. So yeah, I've just been having so much fun playing with them. I thought, why not make it a Let's Play? I have fun playing with my P-Valley characters and their story and everything, but if you're a streamer, you know that um, streaming is a different kind of fun from just playing the game. Um, when I'm streaming, I always try to figure out how to make the story interesting, and I like to just talk to you guys. Y'all are like my besties, okay? I love just conversating with you guys. Even though we only have 40 subscribers, I love talking to all 40 of you, and Social media can really like remove the face of people. 40 subscribers might not seem like a lot, but if I were to sit in the room with 40 of you, that would seem like a lot of people in real life. So I like chatting with y'all, just talking to y'all during the P-Valley Let's Plays, but it can be hard for me to like try to make it interesting. I feel like playing with this family, just their day-to-day -day life is interesting to me and everybody loves a good, black, happy family, all right? So I will get into introducing everybody but I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour of the house first. And I guess we can introduce these two since you guys are staring at their engagement picture. We just got done doing the engagement pictures for this couple. The man, his name is Xavion, and the girl's name is Peyton. They just got engaged about like last week and they just got their engagement pictures done. So I put them all over the house. These poses are so fucking cute. I will link the poses in the description box if you guys have sims that are getting married and you need some cute poses these ones are so adorable like do you guys see how adorable and then pictures of them with their babies we'll meet the babies after we'll meet the babies after but these pictures are just so freaking cute you guys i had to put them all over the freaking house they have more family pictures over here um, baby shower pictures. There was a baby shower. I've been playing with this family for like a week and so a lot of shit has happened. Um, so hopefully it's still interesting as I play because so much has happened. But this is their baby shower picture and it's so freaking cute. But yeah, Xavion and Peyton, they are engaged. They've been together for two years and they have two beautiful children together. And they live in this big beautiful house that I am about to show you guys. All right, so the house. Um, I'm sorry if you guys can hear the rain in the background. It's raining where I am and I like to keep my window open for air. So if you can hear the rain, hopefully you guys hear the music and it's just a calm vibe for y'all. But anyway, this is the Streeter family house. This house is by Sierra the Simmer. If you guys want to download this house, I will leave the link in the description box. But don't expect it to look like my house because this house came partially decorated, like the living room and the kitchen. And some of the upstairs, I think, was decorated already, but the rest was completely empty. So I decorated it. I've been playing for this family for a week and I play The Sims like all day and night. So a week for me is like a lot of work, honestly, with the house. So there's a lot of new decorations that I put in, lots of pictures of the family that I put in. I like personalized their backyard to make like a fun family space. So the backyard is different from how this lot came. But if you guys just like the shell and you guys like the layout of the house, definitely download it, decorate it yourself, make it um, personalized for your Sims. But yep, this house is by Sierra the Simmer. It's a beautiful, beautiful, I think five bedroom family home with a basement and a backyard 
and a garage. It's just a beautiful, beautiful home. Definitely recommend for people playing with families. But yeah, it's a beautiful home, white picket fence. Everything seems like all normal and dandy, just looking at it from this point of view. But if we were to go in, I think we'll start with the garage, which is like Xavion's man cave almost. So we're gonna go into the garage. It's an unfinished garage. So here we have his PlayStation and some lights and stuff, little water heater, I think. The Puerto Rican flag because Xavion is Puerto Rican and this little childish Gambino um, superhero poster. And then if we come over here is the couch. There's Xavion. Xavion loves chilling in here, y'all. Like this is really his spot. He also has an office but he loves to chill in the garage. So as you can see, it's a whole lot of shit on this table. We got some Hennessy, some lean, a rolling tray, a blunt that's like halfway rolled. And yeah, y'all, a whole, I think that's like a zip of weed or maybe it's a pound of weed. Xavion keeps all that shit and y'all figure out why eventually. But yeah, this is just his little guy space when he invites his homies over they all chill in here we got some spongebob art this art is so fucking cute to me guys oh my fucking computer just tweaked you guys all right my bad you guys my fucking cat he is so fucking bad he was messing with my computer charger cord that's why my computer was doing that weird shit but anyway I like this art he has like the little signed jordan t-shirt nike the little weed um, weed art and then he has like a little table to play cards he and the guys just kick back and play cards in here I'm trying to make this tour quick because there are a lot of rooms in this house I probably won't show you guys like every single room but this is the pantry the kitchen pantry as y'all can see they keep good snacks in here good liquor in here um, there's some cleaning products there's some dog food over here we have two dogs um, so yeah, it's a pretty big family. Two kids, two parent household, period, and two dogs. So they have a lot of shit in the pantry. Over here is um, some baking soda and a pot. Y'all can put two and two together for that one. <laughs> and this is the kitchen. The kitchen is so beautiful, you guys. It's like one of my favorite parts of this whole house. And here are our dogs. This is the girl. Her name is Lilo, like Lilo and Stitch. And this is the dog. His name's Kobe, like Kobe Bryant, the goat. Argue with your mama. Kobe Bryant, the goat, before he died, period. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then we have more pictures. That's a picture of them on vacation, a picture of them from the baby shower. Another baby shower picture. You guys, these baby shower poses are the cutest fucking thing in the world. I love putting pictures in family houses. But yeah, over here, there's like some snacks and a microwave. Silver refrigerator, no white refrigerator, period. But yeah, the kitchen came already decorated like this. I think I just added the high chairs for the babies and like a couple of rugs. But yeah, the kitchen was already set up like this. So if you download it, the kitchen will be done. And the living room. The living room was also already decorated when I downloaded the lot. So you guys look at the living room as is if you download it. Um, I added clutter in the bookshelves. And obviously I added the weed on the table. But besides that, um, if you guys download this house, it will come just like this. So that is the living room. And... This house has lots of like unnecessary, not unnecessary space, but just a whole lot of space. So there's a lot of rooms. There's a lot of, there's a lot going on in this fucking house, but I'm going to show you guys the entryway. It's such a beautiful house. Honestly, I really love it. But when you come in the door, oh, over here, uh, you come in the door, we have a doormat. It says, yeah, the neighbors think I'm selling dope. Because I'm going to be honest, Xavion does sell dope. So we'll get into that later though. We'll get into that later. But we have this nice doormat. The neighbors think I'm selling dope. J. Cole, also the goat. Argue with your mama. J. Cole is the goat. Argue with your... Let's argue in the comment section. Kobe's the goat. 
and J. Cole's the GOAT. All right? All right. <laughs> but yeah, and then you come in, and we have a little doggy bed for one of our dogs, so just chill here. Another beautiful engagement picture. These poses just give me life, you guys. These poses are so cute. And then another little family photo with the babies and their parents. And yeah, over here, I think this is a bathroom, but my Sims... For some reason, they never use this bathroom. I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, that's not a bathroom. That's the garage. So the door over here is a bathroom. Um, this is just like a guest bathroom. Nobody uses it. There's a whole shower in here, a sink. You know, it's, it's just a bathroom. Nothing too crazy or anything. But yeah, nobody ever uses it for some reason. And we did just move into this house, so we still have a bunch of U-Haul boxes and stuff everywhere because we're still unpacking. But yeah, over here, um, Peyton doesn't work. She's a freelance artist. She likes to paint, she likes to draw, she likes to do hair, she likes to do makeup, she likes all of that. So this is like her little in-home salon. She likes to do hair and everything. So there's some art over here. There's like some, a fan. This is where she does nails. So it's like a little nail station or whatever. All of her prices, haircut, um, hair masks, makeup. She does nails in this little functional chair. This isn't functional, unfortunately, but this nail chair is. So she got, gives pedicures. She does acrylic nails. And yeah, just some more art. This is a beautiful wall. Y'all know hairstylists always have a wall like this for their clients to take pictures. That's the vibe that I was trying to go for when I decorated this room. And yeah, so it's just a really cute little in-home salon for Peyton to get clients and just make a little bit of money. I mean, Xavion makes all the money pretty much for the household, but... If Peyton ever wants a little bit of extra some, some just for herself, you know, just to put away, she has her little salon to do that. All right, so in here, this is just the hallway that's right off of the living room. Um, there's like a small laundry room over here. We don't really use this laundry room either, just like that one bathroom. Um, there's just a lot of space in this house that doesn't get used, but more gets used than what doesn't. So I really like this house. Honestly, more space is better than not enough. In here is a bathroom. This is another guest bathroom. My Sims use this bathroom a lot, actually. Xavion uses this bathroom a lot. So that's that. And then if we come in here, this is Xavion's office. And I decorated this office myself. I don't think this room came decorated when I downloaded the house. But this is Xavion's office. And this is where he does business or whatever he needs to do. Sometimes he'll have business meetings in this office with his associates or whatever. Um, we have the little rap posters and stuff in here. Xavion's a dad. He loves his kids. So he loves this Dave East poster. Over here is his desk. As y'all can see, obviously a lot of illegal activity goes on in this house, okay? We have the Glock 19 just sitting there on the on the desk, real casual, okay? Stacks of money that need to be counted, some Hennessy, a big old bag full of weed and money and everything else. And <laughs> over here is his safe. He has the passport and his money ready. They keep jewelry in there and just birth certificates and important stuff. Yeah, that is the office. There's like TV in here so he can like chill in here, but he mostly chills in the garage. So this TV is mostly just for guests, any business associates and stuff that he has. And yeah, he has his little um, to-do whiteboard right now. It looks like he needs to work out. So he has all his workout stuff there. And yeah, that's the office. Nothing too crazy for that. And I think that is the entire first floor, if I'm not mistaken. So now we can go upstairs. Oh, I'm going to show you guys the little family wall over here. So they have um, pictures just going up the stairs. And it's just more family pictures. You know, this is like a really close-knit family. So it's another picture of them at the baby shower. 
Um, it's an ultrasound of the twins. Um, the two babies are twins. So the twins ultrasounds and their birth certificates are right here. And another engagement photo from when they got engaged. And I'm going to jump out of tab mode and we're going to go upstairs. So if we come up here, oh, let's start in the hallway. I'm not sure which room is which, so let's just go into this one right here. Why not? All right. So if we go into this room, what is this? Oh, okay, this is another bathroom. There is no lack of bathrooms in this household, which is good because there's a lot of people. And over here is the laundry room. You guys can see it's just a regular degular laundry room nothing too crazy over there and then uh, i think are we going into this room i don't know which room this is okay this is the bathroom all right we already saw this so which room should we go into next i guess we can go into this room over here another u-haul box we're still unpacking okay this is nova's room nova is the little girl the twins are a boy and a girl so this is nova's room it's just super cute i decorated this room myself also i didn't really mess with the size of the rooms too much so the layout of the house is exactly how sierra the simmer designed it beautiful beautiful house she designed this house so perfectly for a family shout out to sierra the simmer if you're watching this sierra hey girl love your let's play i live for the Cobb sisters okay <laughs> but yeah this is nova's room she just has her little teddy bears and everything like that oh there she is she just got off the potty i guess um a little brats poster nova is so spoiled you guys look at these bags okay these bags are probably costing these bags probably cost my whole net worth okay you guys like look at this bag Xavion spoils her Peyton spoils her too so she's just a very spoiled little girl but yeah that's her room she just has toys and stuff really simple nothing too crazy so that's Nova's room and I don't think we went into this room yet why do I keep coming into the damn bathroom y'all I'm tripping I'm really tripping all right, let's go in here. Okay, this is, um, not me forgetting the baby's name. This is Namir's room. Okay, Namir. Nova and Namir are the twins. Okay, so this is his room. It's not as, like, decked out as Nova. He's a boy. He's really simple. He just wants his toys and a bed to lay in, all right? So this is his room, all his little toys. We have the Mr. Potato Head. Xavion loves basketball and he really wants his son to be like some sort of all-star NBA all-star even though he's only two but that's how niggas are honestly they swear their baby is gonna grow up and go d1 and they end up going like maybe d4 but <laughs> he has a little castle to play with a potty a bear his closet um super simple on to the next room because this is a very big house like I said Let's go into this room that's right next to the laundry room. I'm not sure what room this is. Oh, okay. This is Peyton's yoga room. This is her spiritual room, her vibe room. Xavion has the garage and Peyton has this room to just get away and, you know, do her. I have to put an aisle, an easel, an art thing in, her, in here for her because she likes to paint. But yeah, we have some candles going right here, some sage, her little meditation stool her little tapestry and everything like that. Plants, because she loves plants. She loves the outdoors. So there's that. This is her little chair where she smokes. She likes to smoke weed in this chair. And over here is her treadmill where she works out and there's sage and stuff in here. And there's also a functional air diffuser, but it's not working right now for whatever reason. So, okay. And if we go out here, um, which room have you guys not seen? I don't think we went down this hall yet. All right, let's go in here, down this hall. This is Xavion and Peyton's bedroom. This is where we started. Namir is in here doing God knows what, hopefully not making a fucking mess. I hate when toddlers make a fucking mess but they have some pictures here more family pictures a picture of nova 
more baby shower pictures, um, just some art, all of Xavion's shoes, a TV, a big bed with lots of pillows. Cause I feel like moms and dads always have some luxurious ass bed. So I really wanted to make it like, in that type of vibe and then they have their own bathroom attached it's just really simple clean and white um their closet is in their bathroom i don't know who this closet is by but i really like it it's not functional but i just like the way that it looks and yeah peyton painted this picture right next to the bathtub i have the painted up mod which allows you to like paint so much more beautiful pictures than what EA fucking gave us. So <laughs> that's why a lot of the paintings that Peyton paints come out looking so fucking cute. All right, on to the next room. This is the basement and obviously somebody needs to vacuum because it is so dusty here. But <laughs> this is the basement they use this basement pretty much just to work out in to exercise they have a um, this is where Xavion exercises so he has his little boxing area a treadmill it's so dusty in here and i don't know why oh my god but yeah there's a meditation stool but she doesn't meditate down here anymore because we have her little vibey room set up and then over here there is a well, I don't even know what this is called. Some weights for Xavion to lift, I guess. And if we go in here, oh my god, guys, look at how dusty their floor is. I got the the dust buster or whatever the fuck the um the expansion pack is called, and I like it because it adds like more realism. You have to vacuum and stuff, but shit gets so dusty, especially when there's no windows. But this right here is the guest bedroom, so. If one of Xavion's homies needs to sleep over for a night, they have this room. If Peyton's mom comes over to see the babies and she wants to spend the night, this is where they'll sleep. I decorated this room too. It's just really simple, simple, simple. I like that Sierra the Simmer decorates some of the house but just leaves you the rest of the house to just do what you want because it just makes it look so beautiful and it gives you more room to be creative. So yeah, there's a TV and some plants and everything like that, a closet. It's just a really simple guest bedroom. They have some wine here for if they want to, you know, sip a little bit, you know, just get comfortable. They have some wine there just to make people feel more comfortable. They love to host parties. They love to have guests over. So yeah, that's just to make sure that their guests are comfortable. And then under the fucking staircase, if I can, did I block off the room? I think I blocked off the room on accident. I've been doing a lot of remodeling to this house just to get it gameplay ready. So I have to add a door. I fucked up the door. It's like, yeah, it's all blocked off. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. But over here is Xavion's little weed garden. His weed room, whatever you guys want to call it. His weed farm it's so dusty in here ew but we got some crates of god knows what all of his weed this is actually a pretty small weed farm he has one at his dispensary i'll show you guys the dispensary probably in the next episode just so i don't make this episode too 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 long but yeah this is his weed farm we have a little fan in here and shit he's got some weed up here that's still curing i guess in the jars he has a little box full of more drugs and this is a pill presser machine so he uses this to press zannies and perks and whatever else he's selling and that is all of the house you guys I tried to make that as quick as possible. You guys will see the house plenty as we play. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the backyard real quick so we can end this tour. This is their backyard. Let me zoom in. So they have a bar for making drinks, a grill, a beautiful pool. I just love the white picket fence. It just really gives it a more family vibe. A bonfire where they can like entertain guests, some sun lounging chairs over here. Um, what else is there? And a basketball hoop and some water balloons. So real family like, real cute. These are dog beds by Bougie Chloe. These Louis Vuitton um 
Louis Vuitton pet beds are by Bougie Chloe. They're so cute. And yeah, you guys, that is pretty much the whole tour of the whole house. And now we can get into the gameplay. I'm so excited. I know you guys are excited. So let's start with Xavion. Just because he's right here. So Xavion, he is 28 years old. He's almost 30. He has two kids. He's engaged. And life is going pretty good for him. Just a little background on Xavion and you know his life story he's 28 years old he was born in Newcrest raised in Newcrest he's really from Newcrest like that all right who the fuck is 15th street we from Newcrest all right we not from 63rd <laughs> let me stop fucking playing but <laughs> this is Xavion he's 28 years old um Xavion had a brother when he grew up they were twins as well he had a twin brother named Mark I think Marco was his name. So Xavion and Marco were super close. They grew up together, but he was actually shot and killed because as you guys can see by the tour of the house, illegal shit happens in this house. Xavion is a gang member. He's actually the gang leader of the Newcrest Thugs. Um, so yeah, his brother was three minutes older than him. They were so close, you know, same mom, same dad. And yeah, he sadly passed away in a drive-by. He was shot and killed. So Xavion really carries that with him. He carries that pain with him everywhere he goes, really. Um, but he's built his own family. He had his own set of twins. And he's really happy about where his life is at so far. Like, he's actually doing really well for himself. Um, so yeah. We are the leader of the Newcrest Thugs. And let's get into that real quick. He's been leading the Newcrest Thugs for about five years, and the come-up has been real. Xavion used to be really broke, really poor. His mom was on drugs growing up, so he had to leave the house at a young age. He left the house when he was 17 and started running the streets and doing whatever else. And that is how he got to where he is today. So, yeah, he's a Capricorn. So it says, what is the most valuable resource for Capricorn? The clear answer is time. He's a Capricorn. I personally love Capricorns, so had to make him a Capricorn. He's active, a baby daddy, because he got babies, and he's not married yet, so he's still a baby daddy, all right? He's a hood figure. It says, the bossed up Sims that all the hood Sims look up to, they're low-key the big homies, real chill, and all about the Simoleons. He's also a bro, and always welcome. All right, so here it goes. He's a cocaine dealer. He's never weary. He don't get tired, okay? Xavion don't get tired. He's never weary. <laughs> He's never tired. I like that trait for him because he can sell drugs at all hours of the night. He sells everything. He's a speed dealer. He's a pill dealer. He's a former inmate. Oh, okay, so let's get into that real quick, y'all. Child, Xavion got locked up. Xavion did three years in the pen, three whole years. This was before he had his kids. And he was still with Peyton. He, Peyton held him down. Peyton, you know, did everything that she could do for him on the outside. And that's why he's marrying that girl. He loves her so much because she's a real one and she held it down. I personally could never. I could never hold a nigga down for three years in prison. <laughs> I'm just being honest. But, no, nah, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Bae, if you're watching this, I would hold you down for three years while you was in prison. I would, all right? My boyfriend be tripping, so I got him. <laughs> He's a weed dealer. He does not want a child right now. He just had two babies. He doesn't want two more. But yeah, it says he's a Newcrest Thugs um, leader. This Sim is the leader of the notorious street gang, Newcrest Thugs. All right. He's a people person. And surprisingly, we have a pretty good reputation so far. So, yeah, that's Xavion. That is his whole life story, you guys. Hope you guys think he's handsome. I think he's by Sierra the Simmer as well. Not sure, but I'm pretty sure. Just because I can tell by the style, I think he's by um, Sierra the Simmer. I did not make him myself, sadly, but he's so fine. Wish I did. And then Miss Peyton... She is by me. This is, oh, I lied. I lied. This sim is not by me. This sim is not by me. This sim is by Clyde Kim Sim. This is her SZA sim. I added like some personalizations and shit, but this sim is by Clyde Kim Sim and I will link the sim 
in the description box. This is her scissor sim. And yeah, Peyton, she is 25. She just had her first two kids with the love of her life. She loves Avion. They've been together for three, I don't know how long I said, but it's been like three or four years now. And she loves him with her whole heart. She's very spiritual. If we look at her traits, she's spiritual. As a spiritual sim, you're always experiencing shifts in your consciousness. To you, there's nothing wrong with this because you're letting yourself become one with your existence. Okay, that's some real deep shit, y'all. She's spiritual. All right, that's all y'all need to know. <laughs> She's a shea butter baby. Um, these sims are both this, um, fuck. This trait is by Mother Simmer. The Shea Butter Baby trait is by Mother Simmer. And the Black as Fuck trait is by Mother Simmer as well. And yeah, I already kind of went over these traits in my P Valley Let's Play. Link in the corner if you guys want to watch my P Valley Let's Play. But she's a Cancer. That's her zodiac sign. I have no idea when she got this Gym Rat trait, but I guess she's a Gym Rat. She's expression in it. She's like, oh, fuck, I can't fucking spell or, or speak. Expressionistic. So that's for her art stuff. She's a creative visionary, okay? She's talented, all right? And what else do we have? That's pretty much it. She's an animal whisperer, a morning sim. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Miss Peyton. All right, so now that you guys have met the parents, let's meet the babies real quick. This is Namir. Namir? Hello? Namir? All right, he's right here. Oh, shit. This is Namir. Okay, they're so tiny, they're hard to see. But he's in his pajamas, all right? This is not his everyday wear. This is pajamas. Gucci down, okay? <laughs> These babies are so spoiled. Xavion makes good money, and you, you can tell. You can tell by his family. But yeah, this is Namir. He's two, just like his sister, twins. And this is Miss Nova. If we can get in here and look at her. This is Nova. She has her own room. Her and her brother are honestly best friends already. And it's the cutest shit ever. Oh, she's going potty. All right. Let's get out of her business, y'all. But this is Nova. She is wild and independent. And Namir is angelic and silly. So yeah, those are the babies. It looks like Namir has to pee, so I'm gonna have him go potty real quick. And then after that, he can play dolls. I just keep the kids busy. Um, Nova is about to take a nap, so that'll be good. She'll take a nap before dinner. And yeah, you guys, we're just gonna get straight into playing the game. I'm gonna try to play the game exactly how I've been playing it because, I don't know, I feel like it's entertaining and you guys might find it entertaining too. So I'm going to go ahead and have Xavion come take care of his fucking weed plants. Look, there's weeds everywhere. Unacceptable. We cannot be selling this kind of product. Let me turn my cheats on, child, because I hate playing the game without cheats. You might as well be playing the game without mods. And I don't know who the fuck is still doing that in 2022. I don't know how y'all do it. Can we move this? Hello? All right. So we're gonna weed these weed plants. We're gonna weed the weed plants, y'all. <laughs> All right, so Xavion is taking care of his weed plants as he motherfucking should. He's harvesting all of the little weed buds or whatever. I would have him press some more pills, but honestly, we have a lot of stuff in our inventory. Let's look at our inventory real quick. He has these crystals that he's gonna give to Peyton. He's gonna give them to her as a gift. I just forgot to give them to her. He has 16 styrofoam cups full of lean. He has a problem, and I know he has a problem, but we're just not gonna talk about that right now. We're not. What else do we have? This is like all the dyes that are needed to make the pills. He has some weed curing jars, um, fucking eight bottles of codeine. 24 zips full of sour diesel 16 zips of purple haze bad quality this is the weed that we grew some of it's bad quality for whatever reason but yeah he has all of the stuff that he needs to make his pills don't ask me to pronounce it please because i am not smarter than a fifth grader but yeah he has cornstarch a bunch of pills honestly if this man gets pulled over, he's done for. He's finished. A brick of cocaine. A brick. 
um, more cocaine, or this is speed, speed to sell. Just, he has a lot of drugs already, and we're gonna try to push this product out before we go ahead and press more pills at the pill presser. But yeah, you guys, we just took care of our weed plants. I think that we should invite some of our gang members over because they be scared of Xavion. They really do, and I haven't heard from them in a minute. So let's invite over some gang members. Um, you might have seen some of these characters in my P-Valley Let's Play. I know I keep talking about P-Valley, but this Let's Play is going to be happening in the same world, in the same save file, so we have a lot of the same characters. Um, just a few of them, honestly. So, this is Javon down here. Javon Harden. This man has five kids, and they all gotta eat, so he works for Xavion, and that's on period. This is his son, Keyshawn. So, his son actually got jumped into the gang not too long ago. He's still a teenager, but his he's following in his father's footsteps, honestly, and... Being in a gang is bad, but being in Xavion's gang is different from being in a regular gang. Like, yeah, they rob jewelry stores, and they rob other people, and they sell illegal drugs. And I'm not really making their case sound much better, but they're good people. They do things for the community. They, Xavion actually donated money to build a park. One of these days, we'll take the kitties over to the park that Xavion donated to. But yeah, Xavion donated money to build a park in the neighborhood. They do good things for the community, okay? Don't judge them. Don't judge them, all right? We got to get it how we we got to get it how we can, all right? So yeah, Keyshawn is working for him. He's only a teenager, but he's still, you know, learning the ropes. This is Antoine. This is his right-hand man. He's like 37. He's an old head. He's been in the game for a long time, and he's kind of like Xavion's sense of reason, his guy, you know, he turns to Antoine for everything. This is Kyrie, Kyrie Harrison, and if you watch my P-Valley, uh, my P-Valley Let's Play, his brother Dreezy is in my P-Valley Let's Play. This is his brother Kyrie. Dreezy was in our gang, but he kept fucking up. Every time he came back from a mission, he had an excuse like, oh, I dropped the money, or oh, the cops showed up, or oh, they beat my ass. And Xavion had enough, and they jumped him out of the gang. They beat his ass and kicked him out of the gang. And Dreezy is actually the 15th Street gang leader. He started the 15th Street gang to get back at Xavion, and they're currently at war. So, they have some tension going on at home. Kyrie is loyal to Xavion, you know. Xavion is like his blood, you know. He's like his blood brother. So, I guess he turns his back on his real brother. I don't know. He's loyal to Xavion, and Xavion knows that. So, that's Kyrie. This is Malik, and this is Nassim, and this is Kofi, who is also in my P-Valley Let's Play. We are going to invite... Everybody but not, I mean, we can just invite everybody. Why not? We're inviting all of our gang members over because they need to give us our motherfucking money. I'm not going to lie to you. Xavion does not play about a lot of things and money is number one. But we really need to vacuum in here. It's dirty as fuck in here. Peyton over here dancing, you should activate the vacuum because it's dirty as hell. Is the vacuum starting? Start the fucking vacuum. It is so dusty in here. All right. So our gang dudes are coming over and we're all gonna hang out in the garage. So I will be back when they get here, you guys. All right, you guys. So Xavion is sitting here smoking a blunt, waiting for all of his gang members to get here because he's not gonna play about this money, y'all. He's not. But I don't know. We're just gonna go with the flow for the rest of this episode. I'm not gonna try to make it too, too long, but... We're definitely gonna, you know, try to do a little bit more before I close out this episode. Uh, and if you guys look at Xavion's career down here, it says he's a trap star. You're a big dog who's all about the simoleons. Every real nigga in the hood respects you. You have a loyal gang of trappers who got your back at every turn too. Bless up. I just made that little um, occupation for him because I couldn't find anything like that like in the game already. So I just went ahead and made that for him. But our associates should be here. Nassim is right here. Is this Nassim? Is that his name? Yeah, Nassim Johnson. This is his bodyguard. And if you guys watch my P-Valley Let's Play, this is Jabril's boyfriend. 
he swings for the other team, y'all. I know he's fine, but he swings for the other team. And this sim is by Sierra the Simmer. Of course, of course, Sierra the Simmer. <clears throat> Personally, I really like playing with sims that are already made just because it makes my life so much easier. So I just added him to the group with everybody that's here. And I'm going to have them all sit together in the garage so we can get this started. I mean, we could sit in the office, but the office is kind of small. And these niggas ain't nobody special. These are all his homies. All right, so this is Javon. Let's go ahead and collect our money from Javon. So if we go to gang, get update on the beatdown. All right, let's see. We sent him out on a mission. So let's see if he did what the fuck we told him to do. They're finna dap each other up. They're finna dap each other up. Oh, I love that shit. I love when they dap each other up. Xavion, like you got my money? Yup, we got 13,000 simoleons. He said, I found their biggest, baddest enforcer, followed him for a few blocks, and knocked him out stone cold. Then I ran off with his wallet. Here's your cut. Period. We robbed these niggas. <laughs> Period. All right, so Javon had our money. Kofi, you got our money? Gang, let's get our cut from the drug pushing. Everybody's here. All right. So we're finna get our cut from drug pushing. Kofi, where's my money? Yep, $8,000. He said, here you go, boss. This stuff basically sells itself. As it motherfucking should. All right, Malik, you got my money? I love when they don't have his money because I have Xavion beat they ass when they don't have his money. Oh, we didn't even send him on a mission. All right, well, let's send him to push cannabis. We finna have him hit the hit the block and sell this weed. Yep. Go sell that purple haze. Yep. And then what should we have Kofi do? Missions. I guess we have other people out on missions already. So all we can do is send him to trash a venue. A rival gang venue. We're gonna do that. Kofi can go ahead and do that. And then I think we can have Javon rob a jewelry store because... Yep, we're gonna have him rob a jewelry store. He's like our highest paid gang member, our hardest working. If we send, if we need something to get done, we send Javon and he's gonna get it done for sure. So we are gonna go ahead and have him rob a jewelry store. And I know it's bad to rob jewelry stores, but we're gonna rob the jewelry store and give it back to our hood, period. Javon, are you not gonna go do it? Hold on, let me reset them. It's a little buggy sometimes, but I love basemental drugs and basemental gangs. It just adds so much. Oh wait, no, I don't want a robbery mission. I want to rob a jewelry store. I want the big, I'm sorry guys, I'm really high. So my bad if I'm too much. But oh, I guess he can't rob a jewelry store. All we can do is rob, send him on a robbery mission. So we're gonna do that. All right, you guys, we are back. Xavion has sent all of his gang members out on a mission. Well, I mean, I guess pretty much all of them. Antoine is still here, and his bodyguard is still here. I'm going to show you guys Nassim's bodyguard outfit because he really stay ready. He do. Boom. I know that's right, Nassim. <laughs> Ready as fuck. I know that's right. Yeah, he's just the bodyguard. We can't send him on the mission, but I told you guys that Antoine is our right-hand man. So we can talk to him about certain stuff that we can't talk to other gang, f um, gang members about. So we can ask him about rivals corners let's see what he's talking about about these corners they're gonna dap each other up of course so let's see what he's talking about it says you can use your enforcers to try to take over your rivals corners i don't even know who my enforcers are but let's talk to him about information what is this 
Oh yeah, we recently had a sit down with the rival gang leader, so maybe we're not at war anymore. Let's ask about our corners control. See how many corners we control. Last time I checked, we had five and 15th street bitch ass had five. So we're neck and neck with these niggas, but they ain't nowhere near on our level though. So we control six out of 10 available corners. So we have more corners than them, which is good because we're better than them. Fuck 15th Street, we not from 63rd. <laughs> but let's play 2K with him and Antoine since they're right here. Let's play some 2K together. Stop talking, play the game. All right, we playing the game. Look at them. They be having a grand old time in this garage, you guys. I think this garage is such a, a good vibe for guys to just hang out and shit. But yeah, they're doing that. Let's go see what Peyton is doing, though. Because we've really just been playing with Xavion for a minute now. So it looks like Peyton is in her little yoga room. Her little vibey yoga room. Meditating, I guess. And then up here, you guys can see the air diffuser is working. I love the functional diffusers or humidifier. I don't know if it's a diffuser or a humidifier, but I know that I fucking love it. So I wish I knew where, um, where the diffusers and the humidifiers were from because I could link them for you guys. If I figure it out, I'll link them. But I can link the functional stage for you guys. That I can do. Peyton is a level seven... I think a level seven at wellness. Yeah, level seven. So she can levitate while she meditates, which I wish I could do that. Let's light some soothing sage. She's got her jazz music going. She's at peace. Both of the babies are taking a nap. He's taking a nap in his bed. Nova is napping in her little swing chair. And the dog, ugh, the dog is dirty. These dogs, who the fuck? Oh, this is one of our enforcers. Why are you shirtless? Don't creep me the fuck out. Just go away, like. And Malik, I sent you on a mission. You should go away too. <sighs> you guys, I hate it when the Sims don't listen makes me want to turn their autonomy off it does especially when they randomly when when you don't play with the household and you come back and they have kids like ugh but yeah Peyton is just meditating getting her little vibe on Peyton is just a cool mom. Like, she likes to meditate. She likes to smoke weed. She really isn't into anything too extra. She just be doing her own thing. That's also why Xavion loves her. She doesn't do too much. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to have her hang out with her friends. You'll probably recognize a lot of her friends from my P-Valley Let's Play if you watch it. If not, I'll just introduce all of them like you guys don't know them. But yeah, she's just meditating. I guess I could have her do some... Are we emotionally mindful? We are. Okay, so we can do... Let me reset her. And we can do some yoga. Let's do an energy centering routine. Yes, girl. I really wish I had a yoga room like this just to smoke weed in and do yoga in and all that good stuff. All right, guys, Xavion is being dad of the year, and he is making dinner for his family. Oh, my God, where are you going? Please, don't piss me off. He's making lamb chops, or at least he's supposed to be. And, yeah, that's where we're going to close out the video tonight with the fam eating dinner. I think I've given you guys a lot of information for one video. Peyton is over here doing her yoga. And what are the babies doing? Aw, Nova is in her brother's room 
Why don't you play dolls with your sister? Play dolls. All right, so the babies are playing with the dollhouse. Nova and Nassim are honestly the cutest babies. I love them so much. Xavion, if you don't finish these fucking lamb chops, I guess he's trying to multitask, but we need to get dinner done so we can send the babies to sleep. Like, please. Are the, did you finish the food? He didn't. He didn't. Men are honestly useless. Finish the fucking lamb chops. And then the counter is all dirty. Can we make it clean? All right. Let's finish up these lamb chops and just get the dinner for the fam all done and all situated. All right, you guys, everybody is sitting down for a nice family dinner. The dogs are eating everything that the babies are dropping. So there's that. And yeah, we're just having a nice little dinner and this is the perfect place to end our episode with the streeters i hope you guys loved this let's play i hope you guys loved the episode i hope you guys love the family i love this family so so much the babies the parents xavion's whole story and hopefully we'll get to play with peyton more as time goes on but those lamb chops look good okay xavion those lamb chops look real good the babies are eating mac and cheese because they refuse to eat those lamb chops. I don't know where everyone's going. But yeah, you guys, that is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please tune in for the next episode. I think I'm going to film the next episode right now because I have time. But I'm just going to get this episode posted for you guys as soon as possible. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. Please make sure to tune in to my P-Valley Let's Play and watch those episodes that I have out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Love you, love you, love you.